Good morning, everybody. It's another new day. We're in St. Cloud, Minnesota. We had to wait a little while to get our reload. Uh, we didn't get one last night, and we uh, didn't get one really this morning. It's about noon now, and we have our direction. pillow up there so that it's safe diesel has his own pillows I like to have my own pillow I need a new pillow again though the pillow keeps getting flat and no matter what pillow I buy I buy those pillows that aren't supposed to go flat they go flat anyway I've got pillow problems and I've got to put this uh, sheet over my bedding and this sheet is for diesel so that if he does come in the truck, he's got a little bit of dirt or some uh, sand on his paws. Sometimes I can just vacuum it off the floor and then it doesn't go on my bed because there's nothing worse than sand on the bed. Not good. So we put this sheet on here and at the end of the day, uh, I can just take it off and not worry about, you know, sleeping on a beach or something. And there you go, fit for the Lord of all weasels. Good boy, and his pillows. Yes, he gets two, I only get one. That's the way it goes. There you go, buddy. What do you say we go outside? Wish uh, I could let him run off leash here, but there's cars right there, and this is the only little big grass area I could find. And I don't want him to get all excited and then accidentally, you know, run out into the road and get run over and completely crush my entire world. So we've got an eight-meter leash for him here. He's got quite a bit of, and it's it does it's not on a very hard spring either. Like he can't even feel it. So he's got eight meters, which is how many feet? I don't know what that is in America speak. It's a long way. Diesel, stay there. Watch us. Stay there. Can you sit? Can you sit? I'll show him how long your leash is. Can you stay? Let's just pull it around there. See, I'll pull it like out to here. Stay there. Still going. Still going. Still going. There. <laughs> That's the end, man. As far as I'm allowed to go. It's time to go trucking, man. Oops. You still... Come on, old man. You can do it. Time to go trucking. It's time to go trucking. Go in the truck. You want me to hold it? Okay. I got it. Go in the truck. Go on. Come on. Up, up. <laughs> freaks him out a little bit if I don't hold it because then it wobbles a little bit. <laughs> Good boy, so brave. 
You old man. <laughs> You're not that old. Not that old. That sweet, sweet liquid that we call liquid life. Now we can start the day. Okay. You guys ready for this? Diesel, are you ready for this? You look ready. Let's go. All aboard. All right, lights are on, everything's working. Pre-trip's done. All the bolts are tight, nothing's gonna fall off. Okay, now we just gotta wait for traffic. Of course, Trucker Josh wants to get moving quick. Everybody get in his way. One more, one more. There we go. Here we go. And that's gonna kick into driving over there. Driving. You can't take that back. That is official. The day has begun. 300 meters, turn left on. 41st Street South and then turn left into 120 meters. And Karen's yelling at me already. And like 200 meters, turn left on. 41st Street South and then turn left into 120 meters. Like I was saying, this is St. Cloud, Minnesota, a really nice town. <clears throat> they have the sidewalk that goes along the street here behind Pilot. Uh, if you go west it's a lot more interesting than if you go east east just runs to a dead end we found that out yesterday in a commercial zone so according to karen we have just under 400 kilometers to go that's four hours approximately of driving turn left on Roosevelt road that would be uh about 240 miles somewhere in there And uh, I'll bring it to the yard. We'll be there tonight. I hope that they got something for me uh, to leave with right away again. I mean, I've, uh, I need to get going. Uh, there's no traffic lights here. That's the only thing about coming out at this intersection. If you go at that intersection over there, there's traffic lights. But here, uh, at the corner of 41st and uh, 75, no traffic lights. But you can still get on there. Look at us go. Look at us go. to Interstate 94 and it'll be a little bit of a scenic road today should be fun Girl served us well. I'm gonna drop this one here, hook on to another one just a few down from here, and pull it home. Over a cup. 
to figure out where my paperwork is. They got a different system here again since the sickness. There's my trailer. Usually I would go into the yard to get my paperwork, but now the yard is all locked up and our trailers are left out here for us. Whoops! Guess you gotta hold on tighter next time. So I'm going to fill this new trailer with air to make sure there's no leaks. Now the suspension is filling in the back, which is making this suspension adjust here. So that's what that noise is there. You don't have to worry about that. That's not an air leak. It's just adjusting itself. Signal and marker light are working. It's good. Whatever this is under here is secure. Air in the tires. Air in the tires. They're not flat. It's always a bonus. Marker light on and working. ABS light off. If that stays on, you got a problem. Uh, usually a wiring problem. That's usually all it is, but uh, it comes on when you first turn on the key usually just to let you know it's working and then it'll turn back off Let's go back here check this out signal on this side's working wait for the brake light Wait for the brake light There's the brake light We got All the markers and everything marker lights working up there trailer is closed at the top you always got to double check because sometimes guys close the doors and they don't check that latch at the top and it doesn't properly latch closed and it's flapping open rain can get in there it's a big mess air air oh what do we got here yeah, what do we got here so you can't have any of this kind of stuff you can't have any straps that can touch the ground technically we're still okay but if it were to go on that side of the rail i bet you anything oh <laughs> That is close. That is close. DOT doesn't want you to have anything, any straps or anything like this touching the ground. So here's a little trick. Let's see if I can show you this. One sec. So we loosen it up just a bit. Let me get my gloves on so I don't get my hands all dirty and then get my steering wheel all dirty because that's just terrible. Loosen that up a bit. Ah, oh, jeez, these are so rusty. Come on now. There you go. Okay. So what you do with these, see if I can show you here uh, with one hand. You see how this extra stuff is here? You want to get rid of that? You want to almost tighten the strap, almost tighten it, and then flip this around and then tuck it in under there like that and then tighten it. I'll show you here. I'm not sure if you guys can actually see this here, but actually need to tighten this a little bit more. You want it to be just Slip it right in there so that it grabs it. You're doing the last couple of tugs. Okay. See how it goes up in there then? And that way you don't have that dragging on the ground. Some people just tie them up in like a messy little knot like this. It's very annoying when you get to a customer, you gotta use these ramps and you got this all tied up in a knot here i'll fix this here so that uh it's a little bit neater it looks better and it's uh, not that this is a big pain in the butt but you know it's unnecessary there's a much easier and better way of doing this and not many people seem to know this trick because i learned this trick like nine years ago when i started doing this and i guess they haven't been passing down the knowledge for some reason but these are super rusty straps and very hard to work with. Man. Yikes, we need to. I like to replace these too uh, as often as I can so that we don't have that problem. Slide that through there. Make this as neat as possible. Okay, you ready? Okay, so we're gonna go like this. I'm gonna slide this up in behind there, between there. Hold it there and suck it in with this until it's tight. 
See? It's much neater this way, in my opinion. And all you gotta do, instead of like unraveling it all, and sometimes they tie it in very annoying like military knots or something for some reason. Instead of all that, all you gotta do is loosen this and pull on it, and it all just falls out. Super simple, super easy, time saver. And to me, it looks a lot better. You can do whatever you want, that's what I do. Gotta get all this paperwork organized and uh, in an envelope. So I get any messages at all? Nothing. Either way, it's okay. It's not the biggest deal in the world. Because like I was telling you yesterday, I'm not really comfortable until I, I know what the plan is. I, I hate not having a plan. It makes me nervous. And then anxiety starts to attack me. Well, that's enough about that. We can do without a plan. We have the capabilities. We have the power. So we're in Thief River Falls right now. We're gonna leave here and head back to our yard in Manitoba and sleep there for night and we'll figure it out in the morning. Sounds good to me, right? I made myself a ham sandwich. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. CMP Mounties are here. What is that? I didn't see any accident. But the ambulance, the police, and the fire department are all there. Well, the end of the day is here. We made it back. I guess we'll just wait for the morning to find out what the plan is, because we don't know what the plan is now. So at least we're ready for anything. We're here. We'll be rested in the morning, and whatever they got for us, I'm on it. I'm on it. Oh, oh yeah, I got a vacuum. I always vacuum Diesel's sheet before I take it off. Uh, if you're wondering what works great with pet hair, the Shark cordless vacuum. I just got it from Walmart. Works amazing. So now that I've got it all vacuumed, when I take it off, Dust and stuff, hair and whatnot else, won't go all over the place. And just fold it in like this, keep it wrapped in. When you travel with a dog, you've really got to pay attention to uh, vacuuming. My wife might not believe me, but I actually vacuum my truck multiple times a day. I know, when I go home, she'll tell you I never touch the vacuum. That's because I do all my vacuuming when I'm on the road. I make up for it. Believe me, I and my vacuums are one. I have two vacuums, two identical shark vacuums. One second, just gotta get my book out of here. I keep my book in my pillowcase to keep it safe. It doesn't always work. <laughs> We're back in Manitoba, and you can tell that the farmers have emptied their barns and spread the manure on their fields. And I'm thankful for the food they grow and for the nutrition that that manure provides the food that I'm going to eat. But wow, does it stink here. 
Man, I'm like spraying my truck in here trying to get the smell out of here. I can't. Got to keep all the windows closed because that's just going to seep right in here. Woo! That is some serious manure smell. But anyway, it is time for me to go to bed. So thanks for joining me today, everybody. You know the drill. Hit that like button. If you like the video, it helps me a lot with the algorithms. If you hated the video, hit the dislike button because that also helps me. And if you want to, leave a comment down below. As long as you engage with the video in one way or another, whether it be positive or negative, YouTube sees that people are engaging with it and it says, Hey, maybe I should share this with other people. See if they hate it too. Or see if they like it too. So if you give me a thumbs down, thumbs up. I prefer the thumbs up. But that is totally up to you. You want to help me out? That's the best way to do it. Just leave me a comment or a thumbs up and uh, YouTube will do the rest. Thanks for tagging along today, everybody. I don't know what's up and what's on the agenda for tomorrow yet, but we'll find out in the morning. Time to close the curtains and go to bed. Good night.